In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PowerPoint's presenter view using two screens on a Mac in Zoom. Now in the video, I attach a second screen by using AirPlay to connect to an Apple TV device that's connected to a television. But there are many different ways to create a second screen. You might be using a cable, an HDMI cable that you've plugged into an adapter into your Mac. And that's fine too. All of the steps in the video after the second screen gets connected still apply. So enjoy using PowerPoint's presenter view in Zoom on a Mac with two screens. So to get a second screen here, what we're going to do uh, from the Mac is we're going to create a second screen by connecting it via AirPlay to the television. So you can see the television has uh, Apple TV there. And we're going to go on the Mac to our AirPlay. So I want to connect to the Apple TV downstairs and it searches for the Apple TV and you can see that it is now uh, found it and it's doing its connecting and it has now connected to the Apple TV. You can see when I move my cursor off to the side uh, to the right it then goes to the TV. But uh, in fact, what we want is we want the TV on the left so we can go and uh, open up our display preferences and we can uh, go to the arrangement and say that the large screen is actually on the left. And so now when I move my cursor off the left hand side, you'll notice it shows up over there. And this is important because we want to make sure that the setup in the operating system matches the physical setup that we have so that it's not going to be confusing when we're doing the presentation. We want to be able to focus on our presentation. Then we can go ahead and close the display preferences because we have got those set. So once you have your PowerPoint file open on your desktop, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that you specify which monitor is going to have the slideshow. Because it's important that we have the slideshow on the correct monitor so when we're sharing it, it shows for the audience properly. So I'm going to go to the slideshow ribbon. I'm going to go to setup show. And down in the monitor section here, I'm going to make sure that I specify I want it on monitor 2, which is, in this case, the TV. Click OK. Now I can go into slideshow mode with presenter view when I say play from start. And I see presenter view on my screen, which shows the TV shows the slide. So that's what I need to share to the attendees of the meeting. So to do that, I'm going to use command tab to get back to the meeting platform. So I'm in Zoom here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to share screen and I'm going to select desktop 2. So you notice that desktop 1, that's where presenter view is, and desktop 2 and you'll notice the numbers that are shown on the two screens there so that you can see which is which. So I want to share desktop 2. I'll say share and now that's what the audience is seeing. So I'm going to go back to presenter view here. And now I can go through my presentation as I normally would. So I simply go through and the builds and you see that the attendees are only seeing the slides because that's what they see from what's being shared. Only that TV monitor is being shared. And then when I'm done, I simply stop sharing and it goes back to the Zoom window. I can go back to my present presentation in uh, presenter view, hit escape, and I'm back to PowerPoint. So that's how you can use PowerPoint's presenter view with two monitors, in this case, using AirPlay to go to a TV, but there are many other options to create a second monitor. Uh, take a look at the article that I've linked to and this way you can show the audience your slides where you see presenter view and you see all of your notes. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.